Good morning everybody. This is Nate from The Kramer Life and today is Monday, October 4th. Today I'm going to start up by finishing up repairing the holes in the ceiling and the walls. I think I have six or seven of those to finish. So I will sand down the second coat of spackle that I put on. I will then use texture to texture the walls and then I can start on paint. And the first thing I'll do is paint the ceiling. So let's get going. There's no time to lose. <laughs> I need more sandpaper. Let's see what new sandpaper I got. Here it is. There's the sandpaper. That works so much nicer. Everybody, I want you to meet Ella. This is my niece. Just picked her up from school and we're gonna have her help with the project here. Um, I just removed carpet in this room. It was the last room that needed to have carpet removed. And now there's a bunch of little pieces of carpet pad that have to be removed. And so Ella has graciously said that she will help. Yeah. Surprise. It's gonna help. <laughs> all right, so she's just gonna use some pliers and pull up the staples and all of the carpet pieces and we'll put it in a bag and then we'll sweep and vacuum and get this floor clean. Yeah? Yeah. You good with that? Yep. Cool. Thank you for helping. Yep. Ella, thank you. You're welcome. Very much. I forgot to mention, when we picked her up from school, since you just got your permit in July, yeah. she's like, can I drive home? And so she drove our big truck home. What'd you think of that? I liked it a lot. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> you did good. Uh -huh. She's Thank a good, you. she's a good driver. You gonna mow the lawn now or what are you gonna do? I'm gonna mow the lawn. Ooh. She's a hard worker. She's definitely a Kramer. Yep. All right, thanks again. All right, now that I've shaken the wall texture up for about a minute, I'm gonna do a test uh, spray on this cardboard bag here to make sure it meets or it uh, matches the wall texture. The texture here on the wall is pretty fine. There's not a lot of it. Um, so I'll set it to fine texture and then we'll see if we get that fine orange peel texture that matches the wall. So do a test and see how it goes. There we go. Now I need to put primer paint on it, otherwise it'll bleed through when I put the regular paint. So I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna go and hit the other um, holes that need patching. This is knockdown. I've never done this before. So the idea is you spray big chunks up on the ceiling and then you take a large party knife and you smooth it out so it's a smooth surface but it has uh, a little bit of texture to it. and do a second coat. I hope that's the right tactic. I've never done this before. I'm gonna put on primer on all the texture I just applied to the walls and to the ceiling. Uh, you probably noticed that I'm in a paint suit and that's because I am really uh, clumsy <laughs> and I will get paint on me and I've only brought a limited number of clothes on this road trip, so preventative. So I'm gonna apply the primer, let that dry, and then I can start paint, painting the ceilings. My brother already had this primer and some of the rollers for it, so this part is free. That's great. Okay, there are other areas in this room where I've applied 
texture. So I'm just going to get those covered in primer and then I'll move on to some of the bigger spots um, in other rooms. So I'm not really happy with this patchwork. I can tell there's still patchwork. Or I can still tell there's patchwork on it. So I'm probably going to sand it down more to get the edges smoother and then reapply some more texture and repaint primer. But I'm gonna let that dry first. I'm going through all of the upstairs and I'm priming areas where there's a big difference in paint color or some dark colors from previous paint jobs um, or possibly stains on the wall just to help with bleed through with the color paint that I'll be putting on. It has been two days since I've removed the carpet and patched the holes in the walls and the ceiling. Yesterday I had something else to do, so I didn't get to work on the, this project. So today I'm gonna to start the actual painting, which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna start with the ceilings and then I'm gonna to move to the uh, trim along the floor. We got word the other day that our carpet will be installed a week from yesterday. So next Wednesday, we have carpet, so got to get this done. All right, let's get painting. All right finish the first ceiling. There's a few areas I need to put a second uh, layer of paint on because it's bleeding through a little bit. Kind of wish I would have primed this ceiling first just because it is so dirty. But um, I got the wall around the edges and I'm not worried about those because I'll be painting the walls later and I have a, uh, a trim or an, an edge brush that I'll use around the edges of all the walls. So I'm not worried about those, but I definitely need to do a second layer of coat, a second coat of paint in this room, I think, because the ceiling was so dirty. So I'm gonna go do the next one, come back and see what this one looks like when it's dry. Okay, I've already used up one gallon and I was able to do the ceilings of three bedrooms. So I'm back in the first bedroom and things are drying out and I can tell there's a few areas um, that I need to do a second coat on. So I'm gonna take the remainder of the one gallon of paint that I have, which is just a little bit, and do some touch up uh, work in here and then go to the store, get another gallon of paint so I can finish the bathrooms and the hallway. Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, October the 8th. Yesterday, I painted the ceilings and um, things are looking pretty good. So today I'm gonna to start on getting paint on the walls. I'll start by putting paint along the trim using a, um, a trimming tool that we bought. And Katie's gonna then follow behind me with the roller and get the rest of the wall. Uh, so, Let's get going, I guess. My logic for applying the paint along the trim first is that I can paint the wall, let it dry, then I can tape the wall with masking tape and paint the trim easier than I can tape the trim with masking tape and paint the wall. That's my theory. I'm going to go with it. So even though this is clearance paint, um, it is Home Depot's premium one coat perfection flawless finish paint, one coat coverage guaranteed. So it is both uh, primer and paint in one. 
um, the paint that we used for the ceiling was two steps below this one and I did have to paint the ceiling twice to get a good coverage. Well, so far that edging tool works pretty well. I'm gonna finish up this room and move on to the next one. This is another $9 can of paint that we got, discount paint. And it turns out it's pretty purple. <laughs> A lot more purple than was thought at the store. Than what Katie believed. Yeah. I argued. I'm like, it's gray. He's like, it's purple. I'm yeah. like, it's gray. It's purple. It's purple. It's purple. All right, what are we going to do? So we are going to not do his master bedroom in this color because I know he does not like the purpley gray that he already has downstairs. Right. So I do think this will look nice in a bathroom though. Okay. So my thoughts are using this in the bathrooms because I think it'll match the floors if you go and look at the floors because they're mauve and kind of a purpley color. I'll put this on some. I'll put this. I'll put this on the wall in there and we can, can see. see. Yeah. Dang it. So Katie and I have finished painting the two bedrooms upstairs, this green color. There's some areas that I need to touch up with the brush. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, and then I'm going to wait for Katie to get back from Lowe's because she's grabbing some more paint because we didn't like the color of the, uh, the light gray slash purple tint, so I'm <laughs> going to get a different color. <laughs> can you explain what's going on with these colors? I can try to explain. And don't get your all cell phone painted. I will try to explain what's going on with these random colors. <laughs> so. I thought this was more gray than purple. Turns out it's pretty purple. Adam has been mentioning yellows and oranges that he likes. And I went to the store today and found a yellow that I thought would be okay. And then this dark gray is what I was gonna get for an accent wall. We like the yellow and gray, these two together better. So we will be doing this bedroom with a mixture of yellow and gray. There we go, that works. All right, paint is done, ceilings, walls, trim. And in two days, so this coming Wednesday, carpet arrives. So next video is gonna be the reveal. We'll see you then, bye.